Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host Jalindo, and today we're playing more Shovel Knight. So I'm gonna this this unit kind of popped up on the map, and uh, looks like it's gonna be a little mini boss. North from Pride, more west at the fork. Oh bother! I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler. Oi! Maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to. Wait a second. You're the knight with a shovel. Because there's only one. Indeed, I am the the knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village. I, I assure you I have done no such. You're going to use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here. So it must be, uh, I'm guessing the black knight must be causing trouble in his village. Uh-oh. And this is a guy that has the boomerang weapons that I read, heard about in the uh, from the other townsperson earlier in the game. Oh, I missed him. Oh, come on. I think I got him. Oh. Or maybe not. Uh... I don't have any more fireballs to, to throw. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. My goodness, I have one health left. I'm gonna focus. Focus. Half a health left. I'm not gonna make this. I'm so dead. Um, ooh. Potion. How do I use it? Um. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Man, this guy hits hard. Damn, just have him now with the uh, with the nice potion help. Fifteen hundred. Is he gonna run away now like they all do? Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I am no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We, we are? Why didn't you say so? Why, well, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, Knight's Code. First vow. Always help a person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. Alright. We made a new friend. Okay, so now I think I can, I may be able to focus on actually commentating. Uh oh, maybe not. There's a gym over here. I don't know what it does. Let's get through this real quick. Oh, scrolling level. Scrolling level. So, this feels very Super Mario 3. Let's see if I can get through this without dying. Oh, oh, oh. Doing good. Stay to the right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um. Can't get up there. Shovel, 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 shovel. Dig, 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 dig. I can't get to the left. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Got those. Okay, so this se I seem to be doing okay here. Um, so, one thing I want to talk about is that, you know, there's a common theme I see with, I see with people. And really, it gets to me sometimes. Um, people have this idea that... I'll go ahead and save real quick. Um, oh, I already did auto save this, right? So people have this idea that their lives are interesting. They'll hear Strike the Earth. That's a dwarf fortress term. I love that. Um, Uh-oh. So they will, they will hear other people's stories. And they will instantly assume that other people's lives are more interesting than theirs are. And I used to suffer from the same problem. Um, but I can't, I can't emphasize enough. Believe in yourself and believe in your stories. Your stories, your life are interesting. And I say this, you know, just from personal experience. I would talk to people in the past and I would hear their stories and I'd be like, Wow, your life is so much more interesting than mine is. And then I'll tell them my stories. I'll tell them things that have happened in my life. I guess those are boom rats. <laughs> um, 
I'll tell them interesting things that happen in my life, and they're like, wow, you lead such an awesome life. I wish I had a life like that. Looks like we have a hidden area up there I missed. Um, and it made me realize that everyone's life is interesting. If you actually take the time to listen to people and take the time to learn their stories, you know, especially older people, if you, um, if you actually listen to the stories that, um, that older persons, and they don't like, usually don't like to be called an older person, just FYI, but that older persons have, they have some great stories, they have some great things to tell you, they have great life experience. And so, you know, take the time to learn those stories. Learn from them. And maybe even experience some of those things on your own. Highly recommend it. Very much worth your time. Anyway. Um, so yeah, believe in yourself. And, uh, you know, continuing that idea of believing in yourself. A lot of people also have this issue with not believing that they can do something. Not believing that they can accomplish things. And this came out... Uh, I kind of realized this, that I had this unique, well not unique, but great quality about myself when a co-worker of mine um, uh, a few years ago mentioned to me, and he, he, he pointed it out very well, and it was, a, and it was in a way I, I couldn't really, I never really thought of my, on my own, um, but he said, um, everyone else, most everyone else approaches a problem with, I don't know how to do that. You know, if it's something they don't know how to do, they'll say, I don't know how to do that. And then they'll go from there. And I don't. I, I approach every problem from, not not from, I don't know how to do that, but from, I think I can figure that out. And I thought about that that a lot, that he, he was so impressed by my positive attitude towards being able to do anything that... He mentioned that, and, I, and, and I've, I've just thought about why that is, why, why that is about myself, um, and how I think about things. And I, I, the way I think about any problem is I look at it, and instead of saying, instead of realizing what I can't do, I will look at a problem, and I will start look, I will start from the approach of someone has done this before. If it's an astronaut, or if it's a you know brain surgeon, or a doctor, or if it's a janitor, or if it's a engineer it doesn't matter what the problem is but I'll look at it and I'll say someone has figured this out before and if someone has figured it out before that means I can figure it out it may not be easy for me I may not have the appropriate training and there may be you know things I'm missing oh I see what I gotta do here there may be things I'm missing that they have you know prior experience or prior education things like that but it doesn't mean I can't do it it means I'm just, you know, I may not be in a situation where it's easy, you know. Um, so much of my job, you know, of the, the things I've done in the past, and the, the oh, whoopsie, and the things I do do for work now, um, just the style of, of things I do, um, come from this idea of, you know, I need to figure this out, and I don't know how to do it. Let me figure it out. You know, I don't immediately assume, oh, I can't do that, so it's not going to get done. I assume this is going to happen, and I'm going to figure out how to do it. Um, and I learn. Uh, the, one of the things that I try to teach people um, about themselves, and I, I do try to try to uh, coach people in positive ways about about self confidence and things like that a lot. But one of the things I, I do try to to tell people is that you can do pretty much anything you put your mind to. It's all a question of how much time and effort you're willing to put into it. You may not be in a position where you can put a lot of time and effort into something. Don't don't take that as I can't do it. Take that as I want to do other things and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you can do it. Um, and creativity, not creativity, necessity. <laughs> Let me get my... Uh, my, my lessons right here. Necessity is the mother of invention. And what it, what that means is that if you really need to do something, you're going to figure out a way to do it. It may not be the best way. It may not be the most ideal way of handling something. But you'll figure out a way to make it happen. No matter what. Um, I've learned programming through needing to know how to program. I've learned analysis and optimization and things like that from needing to know how to do those things. Um, again, not going to talk about where I work or what I do for my job exactly. Um, just because that's a policy my company has. I'm going to respect their, definitely fully respect their policies on, you know, separation between work and 
you know, this YouTube thing. But I, I, I feel like I can talk about, you know, just some of the skill sets I, I have. And some of those skill sets are, you know, a lot of them, well, pretty much all of them are learned from needing to know how to do something. A lot of it's come from video games, I'll be perfectly honest. I've learned a lot of stuff from video games. But I've also learned, you know, at my job, you know, from just needing to know how to do something. I need to know how to program this, so I'm going to learn I need to know how to, you know, I'm going to teach myself, and then when I go to work, uh, I will know how to do that. And it, it makes for, you know, makes you a really productive employee when, you, when you're willing to learn what you don't know. One of the issues I, I do have um, is I am very self-taught, and I, that is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, since I'm so self-taught when it comes to anything, I, I, the approach of, you know, I'm going to figure out how to do something. I, it makes me so self-taught that, um, what do I do here? Do I hit these things? Apparently not. Apparently I hit this guy. Oh my. So I'm so self-taught about everything that I have trouble accepting teaching, you know, uh, uh, having people, you know, going to school and going to class and things like that. I like it, but at the same time, it's like I tend to try to teach myself everything rather than learning it the way I'm supposed to, the proper way, you know? Do I even have to fight this guy? I'm guessing I just leave that guy alone and go past him. I'm not sure I even need to beat him. I'm making myself dirt poor, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, can I just go past? I can't go past him. So I do have to beat him. Um, so try to do both. You know, if, I, if there's something I could improve about myself, it would be try to, you know, be more open to doing all kinds of learning instead of just trying to constantly teach yourself how to do everything. Go do the do the uh, normal normal way. So I can sit over here kind of safely and take it down. Sweet. So yeah, um, so just kind of like to summarize this whole this whole playthrough today. Um, you are interesting. You are awesome. You can you can do it. All those nice things you've heard, you know, growing up and uh, in adulthood. If you're an adult, they're all true. They're hard to they're hard to believe sometimes, especially when you make a mistake and you're scratching your head and saying, "Why did I do that?" But um, they're all true. I'm going to sit over here and then wait for that to go down and then jump and go away. Bye-bye. Let's see if we can get through the rest of this level here. Whoa, that was close. Oh. This is, this is some definite comp concentration zone here. I believe in myself. I can do it. I can do it. Just not, maybe not in the first try. <laughs> uh, oops. I've got to be getting close here. Boom. Oh, I see something. Click. So much of this game, you, you, you can dig through so many walls in this game. It's pretty nice. I feel like I'm getting close to the boss here. At least I, it makes sense that I would be close to the boss. like other shovel knights. They're like slime shovel knights. Ow. Go away. <clears throat> so what else is there to, uh, to talk about? Um, let's see. Oh, um, a note on the, um, last video. I talked a lot about uh, how people told me that video games were a waste of time and yet it was so, it turned out to be so effective and productive for my life. So useful to have in my life. Thank you, gaming. Um, I did have this situation looks like we are coming up with the boss fight here. I've, I, I frequently had people who would go and uh, they'd tell me that my video games are a waste of time but then at the same time they would go and they'd watch TV. 
and uh, I don't like that. I, I think it should be fair that you know video games are at least as valuable as TV. So anyway, we'll talk about that in another episode. I think. Uh, hee hee hee! Leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? Hee <laughs> hee. The fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom. Oh, boom. Hee 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 hee. Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise, hee <laughs> hee, it will be enlightening. So it's interesting that he's called Plague Knight, um, and he's got that little helmet on. Come on. I have actually seen a picture from the plague where, like, doctors would go around, they'd have these little helmets on. And, uh, yeah. And it's a very, uh, very scary thing. But I didn't know a lot about it until I watched an episode of, uh, uh Gaijin Goomba. Let me, uh, go ahead and use another, uh, potion because I feel like I'm gonna need it here. Um, I watched an episode of Gaijin Goomba, and, uh, great, great YouTuber, by the way, and, uh, he, he really described, he went through the entire thing about what, what a Plague Knight is, or what a Plague Doctor is, and, you know, where that comes from and everything. Highly recommend this channel. Um, great champion for gaming. So, uh, yeah, go check it out if, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Hopefully we get another dream sequence here. That that night was surprisingly easy. I thought he was going to be much harder. Of course, I did drink a health potion to get me through that. So maybe I shouldn't be uh, gloating too much. Alright. I'm going to exit here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab... I feel like I'm going to need more health potions. So I'm going to go back to town. I'll go back to this place here and get some more potions. Please give me potions. Yes. I need I need help in my old age. Uh, I I'm not as spry as I used to be. I don't have the I don't have the reflexes that I had when I was playing games like this. Um Cool. So I had fun with that. Um, hope I wasn't I, I, I wasn't trying to be preachy or anything with everything I was talking about. Just trying to encourage and just just chat. So I uh, hope it wasn't taken in any negative a negative context. Um, so I'm gonna take a break here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, you guys have a good one. Keep it clean, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.